the side AB is the diameter of semicircle with center O. Choose a point C on the side AB. Using AC and BC as diameters, we can draw two more semicircles. Their centers are O1 and O2 respectively. Now, this bounded region is called an abelos. This shape first appeared in the Book of Lemma by Archimedes. He discussed some interesting properties of abelos. In this video, we shall look at one of them. Let's draw a circle inside the abelos so that it touches the other three semicircles. The center of the circle is O3. If the radii of the two semicircles are x and y, express the radius of the blue circle R in terms of x and y. To start with, let's figure out the length of some important size in the figure. We connect the centers O1, O2, and O3. By considering the radius, we have x, y, and r as shown in the figure. Therefore, the length of O1, O3 is equal to x plus r, and the length of O2, O3 is equal to y plus r. Let's construct O, O3, and extend it to intersect the largest semicircle at the point D. What about the length of O, O3? You see, the length of AB is the sum of the two diameters AC and BC. It is equal to 2x plus 2y. Therefore, the radius OA, OD, and OB are all equal to x plus y. In particular, we look at the side OD. Subtracting the radius of the in circle, we have the length of OO3 is equal to x plus y minus r. Moreover, we also know the lengths of O01 and O02. It's because OA is equal to x plus y, so O01 is equal to y. Likewise, OB is also equal to x plus y, so O02 is equal to x. All the lengths are ready. Now, we need the help of angles. Let this angle be theta. Therefore, the angle next to it is equal to 180 degrees minus theta. So, what's the relation between the lengths and the angles? Let's look at this red triangle. Because we have three sides and one angle, so we apply the cosine formula. Here, cosine theta is equal to x squared plus bracket x plus y minus r whole square minus bracket y plus r whole square or divided by 2 times x times bracket x plus y minus r. Let's simplify it before moving on. We expand the two perfect square terms in the numerator. For y plus r whole square, it's simply y square plus 2ry plus r square. For bracket x plus y minus r whole square, we have three square terms, x square plus y square plus r square, and three cross terms, plus 2xy minus 2rx minus 2ry. We're not going to expand the denominator, as you will see in a second. Crossing out the y squared terms and r squared terms, the numerator looks much simpler. Then we have 2x squared plus 2xy minus 2rx minus 4ry all over 2x times bracket x plus y minus r. At this point, we can cancel out the factor 2. Then this is a simple expression of cosine theta. Let's call this equation 1. Go back to the original figure. Likewise, we look at the green triangle. Using cosine formula again, we have cosine bracket 180 degrees minus theta is equal to y square plus bracket x plus y minus our whole square minus bracket x plus our whole square all divided by 2 times y times bracket x plus y minus r. Let's take a closer look at this equation. Note that the left hand side is equal to negative cosine theta. Just like what we did previously, expand bracket x plus y minus our whole square and expand bracket x plus our whole square. We keep all the rest of the terms. Crossing out the x squared terms and r squared terms and group the rest of the like terms together, we have 2y squared plus 2xy minus 4rx minus 2ry all over 2y times bracket x plus y minus r. Cancel out the factor 2, then we get an equation of negative cosine theta. Let's call this equation 2. 
Now, we can put the two equations side by side. Clearly, we can substitute them to get rid of the unknown angle theta. Here, the common denominator x plus y mass out on both sides can be cancelled out. There's only one single term in denominator. The resulting fractions are much easier to handle. Now, we can separate the fractions on each side. On the left, dividing all the terms by x, we'll have negative x minus y plus r plus 2ry over x. Similarly, the right-hand side is equal to y plus x minus 2rx over y minus r. We put the terms with r to the left and the x and y terms to the right. The equation becomes 2r plus 2rx over y plus 2ry over x is equal to 2x plus 2y. Let's cancel out the factor 2 on both sides. Now, we can take out the common factor r on the left-hand side. The terms inside the brackets are 1 plus x over y plus y over x. It can be combined as a single fraction, xy plus x squared plus y squared over xy. Multiply the terms xy to the right and divide the numerator to the other side, we get the general formula. r is equal to xy times bracket x plus y over x squared plus xy plus y squared. How amazing it is! Do you want to see more challenging geometry problems? Check out the next video right here on the screen. I will see you there.